Have you ever heard about a condition where there's bleeding in the air sacs of the lungs? Sounds scary, right? This is known as diffuse alveolar hemorrhage, or DAH for short. It's a serious, life-threatening condition that can lead to grave complications if not diagnosed and treated promptly. At its core, DAH is characterized by bleeding into the alveoli, the tiny air sacs within our lungs. This is where the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide happens, and any disruption in this area can have severe consequences. Interestingly, DAH is often found associated with autoimmune diseases, where the body's immune system mistakenly attacks its own cells, but it's not limited to them. Other factors like coagulation disorders, certain drugs, toxins, or even transplantation can also trigger DAH. Understanding DAH is key to recognizing its symptoms and seeking prompt medical attention. You might wonder what causes such a condition. Let's dive into that. Diffuse alveolar hemorrhage, or DAH, can be sparked off by a range of factors. The most common culprit, systemic autoimmune diseases. These are conditions where your body's immune system mistakenly attacks its own cells, causing inflammation that can result in bleeding in the lungs. Quite the internal rebellion, isn't it? But that's not all. DAH can also be caused by coagulation disorders. Simply put, these are conditions that affect the way your blood clots. When your blood doesn't clot the way it should, it can cause bleeding in the lungs. Moving on, Certain drugs and toxins can also lead to DAH. These substances can damage the lungs, leading to internal bleeding. And lastly, DAH can also be a post-transplant complication. After an organ transplant, a person's immune system might attack the new organ, causing damage and possibly, you guessed it, bleeding in the lungs. So, as you can see, DAH can be triggered by a variety of factors. Different causes, but a common result, bleeding in the air sacs of the lungs. So, how can you recognize if someone might be suffering from DAH? Let's look at the symptoms. When it comes to diffuse alveolar hemorrhage, there are a few telltale signs to look out for. First and foremost, a person might start coughing up blood. This isn't just a little speck here and there, but rather a significant amount that would definitely raise eyebrows. Another symptom that could hint at DAH is a condition known as anemia. This is when the body lacks enough healthy red blood cells to carry adequate oxygen to your tissues. People with anemia often feel tired or weak and may have a pale or yellowish skin. Lastly, we have something called lung infiltrates. This essentially means that there's an abnormal substance denser than air, such as pus, blood or protein, which has filled up the spaces within the lungs that are normally filled with air. It might sound complicated, but think of it as a sponge soaked with water. It's heavier, denser and doesn't work as well as it should. Now, these symptoms might sound scary, and that's because DAH is a serious condition. If you or someone you know experience these symptoms, it's crucial to seek immediate medical attention. Remember, these symptoms need immediate medical attention. Now, you might be thinking, how do doctors diagnose and treat DAH? Well, diagnosis often involves a procedure known as bronchoscopy, coupled with bronchoalveolar lavage. These procedures help confirm the presence of DAH and rule out infection. Additionally, a biopsy of affected sites can further identify the cause and guide therapy. Treatment, on the other hand, typically involves medications such as corticosteroids and immunosuppressive agents. These drugs help control the body's immune response, thereby reducing inflammation and bleeding in the lungs. In severe cases, other treatments like plasmapheresis or plasma exchange therapy might be used. It's also critical to address any underlying cause, such as autoimmune diseases or coagulation disorders, to effectively manage DAH. Remember, DAH is a life-threatening condition, and prompt diagnosis and treatment are crucial for survival. It's important to seek medical attention immediately if you or someone you know experiences symptoms like coughing up blood, anemia, or lung infiltrates. Timely diagnosis and treatment can save lives. DAH might seem overwhelming, but understanding it can make a big difference. Let's take a moment to summarize what we've learned about this serious condition. 
Dar or diffuse alveolar hemorrhage is a rare but life-threatening situation where there's bleeding in the tiny air sacs of our lungs. It can be caused by a variety of issues, most commonly autoimmune diseases, but also coagulation disorders, certain medications, toxins, or even transplantation. Symptoms of DAH often include coughing up blood, anemia, and lung infiltrates. It's crucial to recognize these signs early on, as swift diagnosis and treatment can significantly improve survival rates. Diagnosis typically involves a bronchoscopy with bronchoalveolar lavage and sometimes a biopsy of the affected lung tissue. Treatment usually involves corticosteroids and immunosuppressive agents aimed at controlling the underlying cause of the bleeding. Finally, remember that knowledge is indeed power. The more you understand about DAH, the better prepared you'll be if you or someone you care about encounters it. So, stay informed, stay vigilant, and most importantly, Stay healthy.